Welcome back. You're live with Expresso in a world of crazy news and fake news. It's hard to tell what is real and what is not. So we're going to see if we can spot the real headline amongst the fakes. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. I'm going to read uh, two news headlines. One is real, one is fake. Mm. And I want the gents to tell me which one is real, which one is fake. Are you ready, guys? Yeah, yeah bring it yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. Bring okay, it on. And, and you are going head to head here, so bragging okay, rights yeah. uh, okay. do apply. Our okay. first uh, story is this. A bride cancels her wedding, then tells her guests that she's still going to spend the $30,000 they donated for it. <laughs> Cheeky. <laughs> Our second story is this. American bride sets weight limits for her bridesmaids and tells them that that must be a size 12 or smaller to attend. Yeah. Chad, which one do you think is real? Uh, the second one's real, eh? Second one's I real. So, yeah. Do you uh, concur? Do you... <laughs> you say the other one. I definitely think about the bride uh, that's going to still spend the money but has cancelled the wedding. That's the real story. Yeah. Why would you do that? Because I would like do it. it. <laughs> I, don't know. I knew you would say that. I knew you would say that. That's shocking. No well, refunds. guys, believe it or not, Da -da -da, you are right. A couple did one bag no, their wedding no. donations. Okay. okay. Um, Pam and Edward had kindly asked their friends uh, to donate money for their wedding dreams. They raised a whopping thirty thousand dollars, which oh, is a lot, lot of money, uh, yeah. relatively yeah. speaking. But a few weeks later, they decided to indefinitely <laughs> postpone the wedding, but still keep the money and go on an Whoa. early honeymoon. Wow. That's fraud. I mean, it's is a bit of a scam. fraud. Let's be uh, honest. They obviously announced this via. They didn't even like send dove. Doves with yeah, the announcement. Yeah. Our email. love is endless, yeah. so the wedding yeah. will never come. They just announced it on social media. Wow. Kept the money. Thanks for the donations. I don't Obviously know, I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah. yeah. That's, that's I know, nasty, I would man. Do it. I would you do it. Do it. Okay. Would you oh, announce it on social media? Send pictures and postcards yeah. to my friends. Yeah, I'll send you know them a, a dollar back or something. Yeah. Yeah. Shocking. Okay, our, <laughs> next, our next two stories are this. A new study finds that a New York squirrel, okay, is actually caffeine addicted, and they get their energy from leftover coffee found in bins. Have you ever seen it? A New York squirrel, no, they no, tend no. still squirrels, okay? Yeah. And then the second story is this police horse refuses to get out of bed for work without a cup of tea. No, is man. it our coffee yeah. addicted yeah. Yeah. Stories, yeah. Yeah. Or is it our tea drinking horse, which is the real story? I'm tempted to say neither of them is real because <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh. That's crazy. What are you going to go with? Uh, the squirrel drinks coffee and squirrel, likes it. Yeah. And likes it. Is it addictive? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I'm probably going to go with the squirrel as well. Yeah. Well, you both be wrong, oh. Jack. The 20-year-old wow. stallion has been serving the UK-based Merseyside police <laughs> for yeah. 15 years. 15 years of loyal service yeah. starts every day with a cup of uh, surgery tea, wow. drunk straight out of a tea mug. I'm, I'm guessing How? a fairly big one. Have you seen it? The yeah, 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 yeah. Um, According to the officers, Jake, um, he waits in his stable excitedly every morning for his first cuppa. Wow. He's a truly is, British stallion. That's, is he, he yeah. plant-based? Yeah, he might be, actually, <laughs> like every, every good horse what, should be. I'm keen to know who's <laughs> the first person was that introduced this horse yeah. to the It was just so yeah. up and you, really know, you know what you know. It was yeah. a poor officer just standing there with a cup of tea and the horse and was like, was, yeah. um, Possible. Awesome, okay. Jake. We love you, man. Um, okay, this one is really interesting, okay? Spicy even. Men are more satisfied by bromances than their actual relationships, okay? Yeah. Easy, girl, easy. <laughs> and our second story is 68% of male respondents admit that they will most likely cheat when married. Oh, but Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the lady's feeling um, also true. I, I think the first one about romance is, is real. Yeah, okay. Real, Are you yeah. quite a bromantic guy? Um, I can be, yeah. Uh, yeah I can oh, be. check it out, man. I, I agree <laughs> with Tazi, what do you think? Chad, do you think all um, men are dirt? It's all about or, romance. All men are, yeah, are love say. <laughs> usually, not that, usually, not, usually not that affectionate, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I agree with Chad. I agree with Chad. The bromance is... is yeah. It's the bromance it is. is real, guys. Yeah. Yeah. According to a new study, young men do yeah. get more... I don't know why young men. I think all, all guys men. probably yeah. Yeah. get more emotional satisfaction out of a bromance. Yeah. Yeah. Um, close friendships with other males, obviously, than what they do out of their own romantic relationships. Oh. Um, overall, the respondents reported feeling less judged by their mates well, um, than they do by yeah. their partners. Yeah. Um, and they find it easier to overcome conflicts. Guys are like... 
Yeah. Oh, you messed up, and you're yeah, like, yeah. oh, I'm uh, sorry, man. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then fine. that feels fine. amazing. Yeah, yeah. Cool, and we done. Right? Yeah. 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 Um, oh, that, that's very sweet. I'm yeah. hugging you all, I'm man, hugging you all, this man. house today. I'm, I'm feeling quite... <laughs> so, so we're going out later? Yeah, let's okay, do it. Let's do it, man. Ah, um, fun weekend starting today. I, I'm feeling quite bromantic right now. You can go, send a message, go onto your, your, your bromantic WhatsApp group and just send the guys a nice yeah. message, man. Um, but that's our edition of Fake News this morning. <laughs>